The next feature you will create will be the feet of the part. The feet will be identified. You also have this foot on this side and on this side. You are able to best see the sketch of those feet from the top view. So we will create the sketch for the feet on the X, Z plane. To create the feet, we will need to go to create sketch. In the browser, you will select the X, Z plane. We will create four circles to represent the feet. So we will go to the circle and place four circles in the sketch. After creating the sketch, we will next need to define the sketch. We will use the tangent 2D constraint to make the circle tangent to the edge of the base feature. So we will go to tangent, select the edge of the circle, and then select the edge of the base feature. And we would do that for each of the feet. The next 2D constraint we will add will be equal because we want all of the feet to be of equal size. So we will select the equal constraint and select each of the feet. We also want each of the feet to be aligned horizontally. So we'll select the horizontal constraint and select the center of each of the circles. We'll go horizontal again and select this circle, the center, and this circle here. So these center points should be horizontally constrained. Another 2D constraint we can add will be to make the center of the circle horizontally constrained to the end point of the base feature. So if we go to horizontal, select the center of the circle, then select the end point of the base feature, the two horizontal circles at the top should be aligned. And we'll do the same thing for the circles at the bottom. We'll select the center of the circle and select this end point of the base feature. The next thing we need to do need to do to define the sketch will be to put in the diameter for the circle. So the radius for this is 1.125. So we'll just take that value and multiply it by two to get the radius. So we go to create a sketch dimension, select one of the feet and type in 1.125 times two and press enter. 
And so you would notice that by adding the equal constraint that all of these circles diameters change to the same size. After defining the sketch, we will select finish sketch. After you finish the sketch, you will select the home near the view cube. This will change the perspective of the model. You will use the extrude sweep operation to convert the sketches of the circles into 3D features. So you will select extrude. And in this case, you will need to select each inside of each of the four circles. So I click on one of the corners of the view cube in order to rotate it so I can select the other circles. So in the profile, it should say for selected. You can grab the arrow and we want the extrusion to go up. So we'll just pull the arrow up. The distance that you will use for this will be 0.312. So we will type in for the distance 0.312. Since we are adding material, the operation will be join and you will click on OK.